today we are on Saxon Bog, right on Admiral Road with the beautiful sun coming up. So a lot of times we get the great gray owls coming in right down this road. We've had a boreal owl over here for the past couple weeks that comes and eats the little voles and stuff that are trying to get the seed. That's what I was really hoping for this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Just a great gray is down, but. Did you? Mm -hmm. Is it still there? He, no, he flew across and he flew a little deeper on this east side. So. All right. But he well, was nicely positioned down there. Maybe he's coming this way. Hope so. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Uh, we have red squirrels here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, here we have a number of different woodpeckers in here right now. There's a really big hairy woodpecker up there. And I don't see our friend the boreal owl yet. That would be high on my list. It's a nice variety of birds though this morning. Oh yeah, so this is uh, Admiral Road in Saxonbog, and this is the Admiral Road feeding station where Anybody can bring seed or peanut butter or whatever you want and we get a nice variety of birds coming in like today We had the downy woodpecker the hairy woodpecker gray jays so, And it's a great place to practice your photography if you want to learn how to stop that action. This is a great place to do it <laughs> Wow that was pretty neat. Could have landed right here. That would have been even better. <laughs> when I'm looking at the back of the camera, I'm just looking at my histogram. And then I'll zoom in to see if the eyeball is sharp. It really just makes you feel part of nature, even though it's a man-created feeding station to bring the birds in. It just makes you feel part of their little world. My name is Heidi Pinkerton, photographer and the owner of Root River Photography. You know, I, I run it like a business. So my hours are about seven till noon in the office every day. And then I'll try to get out in the afternoon and do some shooting if I can. Sometimes I swap it around if I don't have anything to do. 92% of my business is photographing Northern Lights. Is Northern Lights is what sells for me. I can't really sell a grizzly bear to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite is to photograph northern lights over a lake because I like to see the reflection. And I don't like to see the reflection of the stars because it gets blurry because the water's moving. So oftentimes when I process my pictures, I'll take out those little stars <laughs> that are in the lake. Seriously, because that's just a style that I don't care for. I have a picture of chickadee with um, its breath. It was minus 32 degrees when I took the picture. The sun was rising behind it. Still in my pajamas, you know, at 6.30 in the morning. And I got the picture of the chickadee's breath coming out. I divide my year off by how I'm going to make my living. So in the winter months, I'm teaching classes at the International Wolf Center. I come here and do some guiding. I bring students over here. And this is the time of the year that I then generate my products for this next coming year. So I'll be um, creating calendars that have my pictures on. I'm working with a local toy company and we're doing jigsaw puzzles. Um, so there's a whole bunch of new things that I have coming down the line and increasing what I already have in stock. I do jewelry. You know, you can put a picture on your wall only so many times, and then you can put it in a book so many times, but now I have wearable art, right? So to actually be able to wear a piece of, you know, something that I created the photo of on a beautiful little piece of art itself, it just has a little bit more meaning to me. Come on, Judy! <laughs> so one of the best parts about Josie She's learned that we love to take pictures. Ready? Come on. Run, run, run. What a good girl. Are you my travel buddy? I love it. <laughs> I love that it gets me out into nature. 
on a regular basis. I love that I go walking with my dog, even if I'm not carrying my camera, and I'm finding different things. I love that I sit on the ground as much as I did when I was a little kid. It may be harder to get up, but... <laughs> So it's stuff like that, you know, I'm still doing what makes me feel young and active at 51 years old. You know, everything looks like diamonds right now because the sun is coming in on this beautiful icy stems. I'll stop even if I take a picture with my phone, you know, and I'll stop and I'll take that picture just for that memory. I'll usually send it to my mom. I'll be like, this is where I was this morning, you know, and that's what makes the world go around for me.